So far we've talked about the different kinds of machinery we use, the different functions of the machine. We've talked about the grinder, the different grinder parts. We've talked about dosing. We've talked about tamping. So now we're bringing that all together to make the perfect shot. So, once we've dosed our coffee, we've tamped it, we're ready to engage it into the group head. Now, the group head has got water coming through it at nine bar of pressure. Now what we're looking to do is achieve nine bar of pressure going through the coffee, extracting 30 mils for a shot of coffee, and we want to ideally put that through the coffee and into the cup in 25 seconds. Now there's a bit of a threshold of five seconds either side of that, so 20 to 30 seconds, but 25 seconds is the sweet spot. Okay? Yep. Right. Now, when I say 25 seconds, I'm talking about from the point I hit the button to the point I've got the espresso in the cup and I've pushed the button again to stop it. Okay? Yes. All right. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll put it all together. Okay, I'm about ready to engage the porta filter. First, just to let you know, what I'm going to do on this occasion, for the sake of the exercise and training you, I'm only going to use the manual button, not the dosing. Okay? Yep. The other thing that's important before I enter the porta filter into the group is to make sure that we purge the machine for just a few seconds. That's to make sure that we bring the regulated temperature of the water at the group head down to the right temperature. Okay? Insert the porta filter. Start the shot straight away. Now what I'm looking for here is for a slight rat's tail, just at the beginning. You see the colour of it? It's really dark, it's kind of like a treacle. Now slowly as that continues it'll turn to a really nice caramelly colour, it'll start to fatten, and it'll slowly, slowly go from that to a honey colour, and then it'll start to blonde. As soon as you see that blonde, that's when you want to pull the shot. That's a perfect shot. So in this shot, what I'm going to do is explain to you the different points of the, ext of the extraction as, and what I'm going to do is slightly over extract this one. So as we said before, you'll see the treacly part come out first and start to form a little bit of a rat's tail. Now in that little treacly part, we've got the real sweetness of the coffee coming through. The next part that comes through is a real caramel colour. In that caramel, you find all the body. Finally, you've got the honey part comes through, you'll see the honey colour start to develop now, that's got all the good acidity. Now if I pull that out now, that'd be a perfect shot. But if I kept this running, you can see that I've got a very, very blondy, light sort of a colour coming through. And you can see there's no viscosity, it's all sort of gone thin, there's nothing really good happening anymore. So what's happened is I've used all the goodness of the coffee. So if I put those two next together, you can see they're quite different. Okay, so you've seen me make the perfect espresso, right? No pressure, but do you want to have a crack? Sure. So if I um, run through, can you tell me what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong? If I tell you what I think I'm doing right and wrong? Sure thing. Have a go. Get the handle off. Clean and dry. Going. Uh, quite fast. Yeah, what colour have you got? Uh -huh. You just kind of got a caramel colour, you haven't really got much treacle. It's quite, it's quite quick, eh? Bubbly. Mm. Woo! Now, that's come through quite fast. Any idea why you think that might be? The grind? It could be the grind, but that's probably the last thing we want to look at. Uh -huh. I think it's probably more to do with your dosing technique. Oh, okay. Now, I didn't say anything on purpose, but I noticed that when you were making your dosing and you are doing your valley, you hadn't actually filled the porta filter around to the edges. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, 
Come on, have a look. Now, ideally, you want all these edges to be covered. And this is what you were doing. This edge wasn't covered, so you went and you made your valley, but of course you've got a big gap here. So, what happens is, you've got less coffee in the basket, so therefore the water will come through that coffee faster. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's have another go. Okay. Clean and dry. Better this better. time? Yep, that looks much better. Right. <clears throat> Edge. Yep. Okay, talk me through this one. Tell me what you reckon is different. Too much. So it was a lot slower to come through. Yep, so it's dribbling. And there's dribble, no rat's dribble, dribble. tail. That's right, there's no rat's tail. So time's ticking and the coffee's not really pouring. No. So we haven't got this quite right. Would you like to show me again? Sure. Now the tamping, you only need to lean on the tamping. Lean on the tamper just a little bit, not too much pressure. Spin, wipe, purge, engage as we discussed, start the extraction. See now you've just got a slight dribble and it goes straight into the rat's tail. You've got that treacle colour, slowly going into a nice caramel colour as we were talking about before. Now we start entering into that honey phase, and soon it's going to start blonding and we stop the shot about now. Okay, so that's the perfect shot. Now, no pressure or anything. Do you want to have a go? Sure. Alright. Right, so, valley. Spot on. You're doing a single shot, so that's right. Yep. And then off the... I need to hold my tan, make everything into a line. That's it. Push once. Push twice. Spin. Clean. That's it. Spot on. Right. Purge. That's it. Cool, you started the shot straight away, which is bang on. It's looking pretty good. What do you think of that? Is it maybe going a little bit too fast? Or is it too slow? You, you stop it when you tell me when you think that blonde colour's coming through. It's about spot on.